in relation to the contemplative, how do we deal with distractions? Distractions are cared for not by paying attention to them, but by letting go of them. We strangle them off when we let go. When we focus, we turn like a needle to the pole star of the Spirit. As we do that, other things begin to drop away. This kind of flaming vision of the very presence of God. And as we begin to work with that, we'll find that distractions become less and less a problem. They're such a big problem today because we are such a distracted people. That is all the constant this, 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 this. And we need to learn just to say no to that. For example, I don't listen to the radio. See, and when I'm in the car, you see, which is one of the great inventions for solitude, I can learn to be more attentive. And as we develop a practiced way of attentiveness to God, that will have a splash over effect. Take, for example, sleep. Brother Lawrence said, those who have the wind of the Holy Spirit go forward even in sleep. We learn to enter into sleep focused upon God in such a way that we can come out of sleep attentive and focused. And, and uh, that wonderful little book by Lilius Trotter, Focused, is that sense of, of narrowing the field of vision. Uh, Blaise Pascal said that the whole, all the world's problems could be solved if, we, solved if we could learn to sit alone in our room. <laughs> Uh, that's without, uh, he didn't have to worry about television, and email, and all that kind of stuff. But we just learn to be attentive, to be focused. And that will have, it, it, it takes time. Let's don't, and we don't need to be too hard on ourselves about this. But it, it'll come if we learn not to focus on the distraction, but on God.